<laughs> Yo, put, put, the f- put that in the bloopers reel. Put that in the bloopers reel. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, bloopers reel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome to you. Welcome back to the Winston's Master Duel Roundtable on High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and today we are back with our our a lovely panelist, Nerlis and Digi, as well as some news. I Hello. have been in the nut house in patient psychiatric care because your boy had a tough time. So, I you know I I I I had a difficult time. Yes, I did. And and in that notion, I did I did not have access to the internet. I had to watch the last night's presidential debate on CN fucking N, not on YouTube like a good, you know, basement gremlin. Anywho, wow. we are on we are, we are on to some news today. Nerlis is going to be our our resident news expert, Chara is indisposed for the evening, unfortunately, due to the slapdash uh, uh, last-minute nature of this of this recording. Uh, we're going to be starting with the first uh, line in question, the Master Duel Forbidden Limited List update. Please, before we get started, just to check the vibe, Nairless. Was this Here. or was this or was this not... A, t- a complete and utter um like w- was this actually something worth a damn or was this just a nothing burger like the um uh tcg list uh i calling this a nothing burger would be too nice of a comment this is just like a nothing pancake it's like three hits so first of all they all do nothing for the metagame skull dread to three what about a nothing pizza skull dread no, to three many ingredients Skull Dread to three that literally helps Dragon Link and Dragon Link isn't even tier one right now. Skull Dread does nothing in general, not yeah, for Dragon he... Link. It's just like it's it's just there if you want to draw cards. Like that's a yeah. Uh, I mean it's good in Dark World. True. All right. Uh, Beast Shield Drew a Swarm. Like it's whatever. Again, of... like yeah, we're we're in a fire format. Lights and darks don't really matter anymore. So unlimiting all the bestials would do nothing. Yeah, other no, than like... maybe give Dragon Link some more consistency, but like and some hate to... and, and and some general hate to voiceless voice. That's also true. All right. Limited white dragon wyver busters back to one. Back yeah. to one. Just like that's that that's a hit. Yeah, it was banned for a while because uh, D Link format Why? was a. Because uh, Dragon Link was the best deck for a while, like in between Tier uh, Tier Shizu and now, uh, so they decided to murder the deck by uh, banning Wyver Burster. Well, a big reason why Konami uh, hates Dragon Link is because it's one of the cheapest decks to make. That's actually good. True. Uh, oh, boy. yeah, that's literally it. Wow, that's that is yep. sad as shit. Like I said, calling that a nothing, nothing burger pancake. would be a little. Too generous. Moving on, uh, a, yeah. <laughs> moving on to the OCG, we have uh, new Speedroid cards. Inter- Speedroid support. Speedroid support. Speedroid. Okay, so they so they just made Clearwing Crystal Dragon go on crack. Okay, so clear Crystal Clearwing over Synchro Dragon. Holy fucking! Like this is reaching Red Eyes levels of fucking. You know, word salad. Uh, yep. level twelve, le- level twelve, wind dragon synchro monster. Attack thirty five hundred three thousand. Okay, so it's a beefy boy. Uh, materials two tuners or one synchro tuner monster plus clear wing synchro dragon. So you can make it with without a synchro tuner. You can, in fact, make this in a deck that cannot easily excel Synchro Summon. Great. Once per Which turn, when it... Speedroid isn't one of those. Yep, because it's got a bunch of low-level tuners that it love to be special summoned easily. Uh, once per turn, when another card effect is activated, quick effect, you can negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, then... If a monster was destroyed by this effect, this card gains attack equal to that monster's original attack until the end of this turn. Okay. If this card yeah, faces up, it's just an omni. Yeah, it's just an omni. Okay. I mean, I mean, like it's it's basically upgraded crystal wing. 
That's exactly what it is. If this face of synchro monster leaves the field because of your opponent, notice how it says, unlike the original, it says for like because of your opponent. This is the uh, you know we got that mirror jade effect. That mirror jade. You get a special Ooh. summon one clear wing monster. So this is doing the fucking um, Stardust Dragon Synchro upgrade line thing of like being able to summon the smaller versions when your opponent fucks up. Yep. Okay. It, it's uh, pretty cool if you ask me. What the fuck is that sound? What sound? Oh, I guess it was not. No, it's just there's a there's a fucking there's wheel. Of, ad. There's a wheel oh, there's of a wheel of fortune ad, bruh. Uh, that's fucking trash. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck you. Um, what's his name? Decade. Yeah, Decade. That's some trash. Oh one. man. Uh, Speedroid Clackernal. That could get me Twitch TOS if I said that wrong. Level two wind machine sure pendulum. Could've. What? Like, like uh, two two political streamers, uh, Destiny and Vosh got banned for call, saying the word cracker to refer to white people on Twitter, on Twitch, oh. Twitch, 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 Twitch. Um, didn't oh, Asan? Boy. Didn't As I think Asan got banned too for it? I wouldn't might... know. Eh, I'm not paying enough attention to Twitch culture. Anyways, uh, attack 200 defense, 800 lala, pendulum scale 8. Pendulum effect. Once per, hard once per turn. You can banish one speed roid monster from graveyard, place one speed roid pendulum monster from your deck to in your pendulum zone. Also, you cannot special summon except for this turn, except for wind monsters. Monster effect. Also, that pendulum effect is already, you know, cracked. Oh, boy. Yeah. Like, pe yes, yes, let me, yes, let me open let me fucking open speedroid clackernackle and i have like all monsters in my hand and let me put a fucking love like one scale pendulum down and just summon every fucking thing in my hand and go plus a billion your pendulum is so calm. if this oh. card is if this card on the field is destroyed by battle card effect you can special summon one speedroid clackernackle from your hand deck or graveyard and if you do it's treated as a tuner that's dumb if your clear wing monster battles while this card is face up in your extra deck during damage calculation, you can banish it, and that monster gains 700 attack. You can use both of these once per turn, the monster effects. Clear speed roid wing synchron. They fucking did not. They did. Ma they make made crossover. They made clear wing baby dragon. They made sphere wing what? baby dragon. Not only did they make sphere wing synchron, Baby Dragon, these motherfuckers also made it so goddamn tuning is now playable in speed roids. Oh my god, it's Synchron. I didn't even realize that. It says it's a Synchron. synchron. In the name. It's a Yo, fucking play tuning. Synch three tuning? Great. Your 40 card speed roid deck just turned into a 37 card speed roid deck. Huh. Uh... Pencil I effect. Love you, once per turn, you can destroy both this card and one level two wind pendulum monster card in your pendulum zone. This shit, so you can so you can fucking you know get something a tuner a quick tuner out on hand. Um, and if you do special summon one clear wing synchro dragon from your extra deck, this is treated as a synchro summon. So you're just enabling this shit. You just need one more fucking tuner in your Gucci. Because this bitch is level ah. twelve, yeah, this bitch is level twelve. Yep. This okay. Uh, also, for this turn, cards your pencil zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, you cannot. Yeah, it's just one wants you. Monster yep. effect. Uh, yeah, because you can also fucking add this off of this shit. Um, if this card is added to the extra deck face up, and there are two or more different monster types among wind synchro monsters you control. You can send one speed roid trap spell trap from your deck to the graveyard. I'm sure that they have some bullshit already that has that that does crazy shit when it hits a graveyard. Mm -hmm. Level five high speed glider two. I guess we're back to the early to like goat format where we just li where we literally just put the number two on monster monsters names. One wind machine tuner, one non tuner monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this cards each once per turn. 
Uh, if this card is synchro summon, you can target one non-tuner level seven or lower when synchro monster in your graveyard is supposed to summon it. So just get your fucking clear wing. Uh, if this, if your opponent special summons a monster, you can control and you control a clear wing monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard, increase the levels of all face up monster your opponent currently controls by five. Huh. Why does that matter though? You only use the first and second effect. Oh, it's a fucking, it's a fucking monster trap in speedroids. Target cards your opponent controls up to the number of different monster types among Winsicro monsters you control. Destroy them. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one Winsicro monster you control, banish it, and return it to the field. Yeah, so this is goofy. Like the speed like the fact that the word synchron is here is devastating. So now, so you know what that means, right? You can now uh, play what does like that mean? You can play your fucking like medal like like ice barrier medallion like for the speedroids, and you can also play this like the this is goofy, goofy goober ass behavior. Holy shit! For real. Oh man. So uh, let's see. speedroid support. Uh, let's see what's, what let's see what leaks are going on in Master Duel meta next. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at that. Oh, the Light Sworn stuff is coming. That's fun. Yeah, I'm pro baby. It, it's going to be expensive Whoa. as shit and not meta defining at all, but it's cool. Also, Light Sworn Dragon looks also, fucking adorable. Like oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, Light Sworn uh. Light Sworn Dragon Link. If you have a Light Sworn monster in your graveyard, which you fucking should out like unless it's turn 1 and you haven't played yet. You can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can send one Light Sworn card from your deck to your graveyard, except Light Sworn Dragon Link. That's fucking everything for the deck right there. Yep. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add you can add Judgment Dragon to your hand, basically. Okay. So Judgment Dragon Keck W. Yep. And it's a hard once per turn. All the effects are hard once per turn. Obviously, it's uh, hard once. Yeah. Uh, we. A uh, light sworn archfiend. Weiss, and... I think. Weiss, yeah. You can place one other light sworn card from your hand on top of the deck. Special summon this card from your hand, then send the top two cards to your deck to the graveyard. Just criminal. If this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard, you can target one light sworn monster in your graveyard, except Weiss and special summon it. I'm just realizing grass is gr grass looks greener is legal in Master Duel, yep. I think. Wait no, did you? Did we ever talk about the the TCG ban list here? Yeah, yeah, no, it, I, I was mixing it up. My bad. Uh, it's, light... it's also legal in TCG now. Cack W. Jesus. Oh Light, boy. Sw light sworn. I guess it's a trap. Target face up cards your opponent controls up to the number of light sworn monsters you control and negate their effects until the end of this turn. If this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard, you can set this card. You can only use each effect once per turn. Could you imagine if it said uh, no, target face of cards your opponent controls up to the number of Light Sworn monsters in your graveyard? Oh, man. That, that would be uh, that would be very funny, because it's just pretty much a full board negate yeah. uh, if you, you know, set up your board right. Yep, we have Enlightenment Dragon, Which requires Judgment and Punishment Dragon. So Judgment Dragon is the one you're going to want on your field. Punishment Dragon is the one you're going to want in the graveyard. I th oh wait, I think that might be reversed, actually. I think Punishment Dragon is easier to get out, I think. Don't quote me on that. It must be special summoned from your extra deck by banishing the above monsters, one from each your field and graveyard. Once per turn, quick effect, you can pay a two, two grand... Banish all other cards on the field and in the graveyard. That seems counterintuitive for fucking light sworns. Just a bit, but uh, you know, mm. it's it's all right. I'm s like you know fucking. Yay, necro necro! Yay, you're one of necro necro face. Yeah, the necro face line. Yeah, oh, once per turn during your end phase, in the top four cards of your deck to the graveyard, you don't have any cards in your deck anymore. You banish them all. If this card in the owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can add two of your banished monsters to your hand 
uh, one Judgment Dragon and one Punishment Dragon, then you can Special Summon both, ignoring their summoning conditions. This card is yep. ass. It, it, it It's not the best. Like, I play it just because it's very funny, but I, I honestly never even summon it. That's just not fucking worth it, man. I'm sorry. Light Sworn's, like, live and die by, like, their really ability. Funny. Yeah. Uh, Minerva I, might be end up being better. One tuner, one non-tuner monster. Minerva the Athenian Light Sworn. One sec, my girlfriend's calling. I pause. I pause. Don't worry. Uh, Minerva Aww. is a... The, the Athenian Light Sworn is a level 8 uh, synchro, uh, synchro monster. One tuner, one non-tuner monster. And... Oh! So this you're just... Alone carries the whole deck. Yeah, and also it makes Enlightened Dr Min Dragon fucking possible. Yep. Light Lightsworn Dragon, Lightsworn Monsters you control cannot be banished by card effects. So, if you can get this shit on board, not negated or popped, and you're able to still get Judgment Dragon out, and Punishment Dragon in the grave, or vice versa, and get Enlightenment Dragon... That's a big like this is like that is a win more strategy if I've ever seen one. Yep. Okay. Uh, otherwise, if this card is synchro summons, you can send light sworn monsters with different types from your deck to the graveyard up to the number of light sworn monsters used as this in this card's material. You can banish up to four light sworn monsters from your graveyard. Send that many cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. So basically, because they. Blades where monsters cannot be banished. You just get a free. No, they they still get banished. Okay. Because I I I I don't know why. I think it's just because like rulings about it being the like its own effect that it's doing the banishing that makes it fine. Fair enough. Yeah, that's that. But, uh, then like, again, what the uh, what, uh, what the hell do I know? I foresee this shit just being engine. It just helps. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be played in tier, and that's it. Yeah, Lightsworn oh, basically, man. Lightsworn basically just gets tier. Not, no, no. Let's th these this Lightsworn support just just basically turns like Lightsworn into a worse milling, um, engine compared to tier, even yep. with all the ban the bans and stuff. So that's that's is what it is. Um, and lastly. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links news in the form of Konami confirming that Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush World will be coming to Duel Links on October 1st. What the fuck is Rush World? Go Rush, Rush. World? Go yeah, Rush. Go World. Rush. Whatever. It's the uh, the sequel to like, the original Rush Duels. This is like the second season where fusions come into play finally. Oh, is this like oh, the is, is this like the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX for Rush Duels? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Fusion summoning will also, be added to Rush Duels. Uh, uh, confirmed... We're getting some. Uh, obviously, yeah, we're getting fusion stuff, which I, I just Cyber said. End, fun. I am. Oh. I'm surprised it's not a fucking legendary. Nope. Because I'm pretty sure the original Cyber Dragon already is. How the fuck are you okay. supposed to? How the fuck are you supposed to summon this then? Uh, cause there's other guys that are treated as Cyber Dragon, got like it. Cyber Proto Dragon still exists. Got, got so. it. Okay. And since it's Rush Duels, so you can. And play. since it's Rush Duels, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Seven Paladin, Seven's Paladin. The pretty much, pretty much the Dark Paladin of this. Uh, you know. Noted. Uh. Interesting card. I I already know who's the main protagonist, who's the edgy friend with a dark backstory, and who's the token white and who's the token love interest that beats it, the the main character up and then eventually falls in love with them. Yep. Welcome new, to go rush. New graphics. About yep, fucking we're getting time. A graphic overhaul. I w I will say that I I'm liking that significantly more. That looks so much better. Please still fix the netcode so it's not a shit. Uh, get a chronicle card that upgrades by winning duels. That I like. That's cool. I like that. That's a nice uh thing. Uh, so what? So what do you guys want to like dig into here for a sec? Mm. 
Uh, I mean, like, it's it's whatever. Everything here, except for, like, the yeah. graphics overhaul was pretty much anticipated to come at some point or another. Because Go Rush coming was pretty much guaranteed. We can really just only hope that this means that we'll be getting Rush Duel content for us uh, TCG nerds, for us, uh, yes. you know, us filthy Americans and whatnot. Yeah, it's, it bums me out. That they killed, it does genuinely bum me out that they killed it. Like, they killed Rush Duel. Like, it feels, I don't know, just like Rush Duels, I feel it is. Like, I, I wish they kill, didn't kill Speed Duels over here. I wish they, I wish, like, it's because they're a Japanese company and they don't give a fuck about anybody but Japanese fans. Yep. Mm. So. So on that note, that's the that is the news. Let us actually uh, move into um, uh, actually move into uh, the show notes for the time being. Uh, moving into right. moving into deck lists. Is there any new decks that you guys have been trying in any format that you're kind of interested in? Um, I'm still trying to. Oh. Oh uh, no, sorry. Uh, exactly. You uh, you go ahead on first, Digi. I'm still trying to grind for that one Chara made me in Master Duel. Keep it, keep it grinding. It's like I've just been, I've just been using my Blue Eyes Exodia for the most part because that's what I'm most familiar with. And I'm slowly yeah. starting to get a hang of managing everything in my favor. Because like a couple streams ago, I don't remember if this was back in like like late July or early August, but like I was playing master duel and I was grinding against a couple randos. And like, after I made a whole bunch of complicated moves or that seemed complicated, but it turns out they actually weren't the guy I was going up against ended up surrendering, man. Mm hmm. So <laughs> yeah. Yep. Seems legit. Uh Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I go, though, I uh, recently, after the uh, release of Fallen of Albaz in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, uh, have reignited my spark for that game. And uh, oh boy, am I back in full swing, baby. I've, okay. been, uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, the, uh, the old Blue Eyes strategy that was meta-relevant a while ago, with the uh, Blue Eyes Dimension skill. And it's mm. uh it's pretty cool because it's just if I go second, I win. <laughs> like there there is no if and or but. If I if I go second, my W is ready. What happens if you go first? Uh, if I go first, I pray that I draw a book of eclipse. Oh. And if I didn't, I am cooked. Uh oh. Uh, but right. luckily, that always happens, so, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. But, moving on, we're moving moving on to the next thing. Uh, any, um... We've... Is there anything, uh, in other formats or anything that we haven't touched on in the wider community? I remember I got out and there was a post that said DK did what? Did, like, did he fuck up or something again? Or am I, uh... Uh, I don't know. Is there I any, good, okay. any good Yu-Gi-Oh! community drama at present? Uh, uh, not that I know of. I hate drama. That's fair. I uh, I try to I... stay out of drama the best I can for uh, yeah you know, obvious reasons. Yeah, because yeah, nothing I good comes that. from drama. No, but Ever. watching it with popcorn is very fun. You know that is a yeah. solid. On a completely unrelated note, I am up my on subscribers for the first time in months where I have it where I've just been like on a slow hey. decline. Yeah, I'm actually plus oh, one fun. on subs. Yeah, it's like it's I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong or why the YouTube algorithm hates me or why the fuck like people keep unsubbing for my fucking channel, but you know. Hey, like I'm finally in the plus again. Now I just gotta get the last um you know, 2,000 hours to get partner. You're... Oh, yeah. Easier It'll happen, better. I believe. 
I have to because I I've invested so. five years of my life into this shit, man. I better. Mm -hmm. better. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for listening. You can find all of our illustrious um, panelists' links. Oh, yes, uh -huh. that's right. That's right. Thank you, Digi, for reminding yeah, me. I apologize. He has his own section. That's right. I you, keep fuck. I you, suck. I'm sorry. I'm trash. I'm sorry. I'm trash. Go, go, Digi. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. So I. Oh, yeah. By the way, the mic was. By the way, no, no, the mic was off this whole time. I'm kidding. I was gonna. I swear to. I swear to God. Okay, so I basically bought a retro box this time instead of Infinite Forbidden, because, like, we only have two Infinite Forbidden boxes left at the store, but we got a shit ton of retros. So yeah. I figured now I'd basically alternate between the two. Like, one week I'll open up Infinite Forbidden, next week I'll open up a retro, and this week is retro. So let's see what we've got. The first highlight from the first pack is Messenger of Peace, a continuous Whoa. spell card. Stall card. Is that, I say, is, a, is that a good one? Uh, uh, I I think it's a good one, but I honestly don't remember. I I have to look at it again. If, it's from the. I retro think pack. I know it. I think I know what yeah, it it's is. It's from Hold the retro on. decks. Uh, it's uh, it's less than a dollar, sadly, but I mean, like, it's a stall I mean, card. So I mean, mo most cards it, are worth It's good card. in my heart. Uh, what the fuck does this say? Uh, Messenger of Peace. Monsters with 1,500 or more, though. Oh, yeah, no, you, um... Yeah, uh, you play. Card. Yeah, you play this shit in, like, Striker or some shit. Uh, okay. Striker Anyways. or Lunik. Hmm? Moving on. Get fucked. Anyways, back, yeah. the... Yeah. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay. Anyways, the next highlight is ooh, left arm of the forbidden one. I got the right arm, arm last retro. Yo, he's yeah. trying to dap you up, bro. Yeah, he's trying to dab me up. I now have two pieces of Exodia. Even though I've already yeah. got all five from the legendary decks, so yeah. Sure. The only difference of the only difference between those and these is that the names are shiny on these ones. Oh! I dropped something. Oh. Hold on. I thought you pulled something good and I'm just like, oh? From the retro okay. pack, no Let's less? See. From the retro oh, pack. Yeah. That'd be that'd be certain, something interesting. Maybe sure I'd get an Egyptian be. god card or something. I don't know. But then again, nobody packs. really plays the god cards anymore. But hey, no. the the nostalgia tax, it could be worth something because yeah. people think, yo, the Egyptian god cards, I remember that when I was seven years old. Yeah. And the third highlight, I don't know if this counts as a highlight because like the name's not shiny, but the image itself is. It La is. Jin, it the okay. La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Ooh, legit. A dark monster of with 1,800 attack power and 1,000 defense. Tudara. Tudala. Let's see. Was there a fourth one? Oh, there is. A oh. wind monster by the name of Kazajin. With an attack Yo, power of 2,400 and a on... defense power of 2,200. Oddly enough, still somehow playable in today's day and age. Is it really? The gate yeah, because uh, it's part of the Gate Guardian guy. Oh. And you know, Gate cool. Guardian has support now, and it's actually kind of kind of good. Okay. Oh boy. But yeah, I got a shit ton of dupes. I see multiple baby dragons. Multiple elegant egotists, molten destruction over the, and over again. The retro pack is uh, ostensibly just a you know expensive nostalgia pack. Yep, it's it, it the the whole thing is uh nostalgia bait. That is its yeah. sole purpose in existence. Yeah. Eh. I do have a soft spot for nostalgia. Like the only things that are that I find relatively significant, I managed to get two of the Toon cards. I got Toon World and Toon Mermaid. Nice. Toons are cool. Yeah. I like Toons. Who doesn't like Toons? 
apart from the ones who are facing off against them. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> because they can be obnoxious to face off against. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah there, this like two, like those are like we are never gonna get competent good two monsters because their spell trap support is too fucking good. It, they, it is spell trap support for as far as archetypes are concerned is unmatched when it when when it comes to tunes. I'm a brain fusion. <laughs> One thing I'm actually kind should of all, wondering. Should like, all did it first. You know what? Solid point. Yeah. One thing I'm actually wondering, though, if maybe one of these days when I get another retro pack, I might get the seal of Ulrich Halcos. I'd imagine if I printed that in there. <laughs> imagine they, like, secret printed, like, Deuteros and Triteros in there and nobody fucking knew because nobody cared about the retro packs. <laughs> that actually. What, what if be... I pulled those my next retro pack? That'd be funny. I would shit. scream. That'd be very funny that they that Konami secret printed the upgrade versions of the Seal of Orichalcos. Oh uh, man, that'd be very funny. Well, if they actually yeah, made like, be. like, like, e like Evil King Zora, like the fucking, you know, monster Zork? with the oh giant, God, sick. Yeah, with the giant penis from the end of the anime like <laughs> go google a picture of zork go picture a picture of zork from the anime and tell me it's you know, not i've 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 <laughs> seen it it is an an obelisk looking motherfucker with like a, with a with a schlong out to brisbane yep zork necrophades uh <laughs> his schlong is just a dragon zork like 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 zork helicopter like zork helicopter 4k hd like, I don't know. Don't call it a helicopter, bro. <laughs> Are you telling me you've never made you made your dick helicopter before? <laughs> never mind. I don't helicopter, know. helicopter. All right, I'm going to stop now. All right, ladies. Probably, all right, yeah, all right go, go, we're, we're going to get demonetized. Go follow these. Go, uh, fo yeah. go Anyways, follow these. Go outro. follow these. Yes, go follow these fucks on YouTube and Twitch. And I'm going to and, and pre recorded Evan's going to show you all. Tell you tell you what to do. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.